Dear friends, today uh, we are going to discuss the reaction mechanism in coordination complexes or compounds. So we will start with the uh, substitution reaction in octahedral metal complexes. Basically, most of the reaction in inorganic chemistry are uh, ionic in nature. As such, uh, they uh, they they takes place almost instantaneously, and hence uh, no mechanism is involved in their occurrence. So in the substitution reaction, where an octahedral molecule are involved or octahedral uh, complexes are involved, are uh, takes place uh, through different uh, substitution. Basically, two type of substitution is involved. First, we will discuss that how the substitution reaction takes place. Basically, in the substitution reaction, one of the ligand is replaced by the another ligand, which is generally termed as a substitution reaction in um, in octahedral metal complexes. So, here we will discuss that how the ligand is uh, exchanged in any of the metal complexes. So, on this basis, the substitution reaction is divided in uh, into type one is uh, termed as uh, one is termed as nucleophilic substitution, nucleophilic substitution reaction, substitution reaction, and uh, where where, uh, where a nucleophile, where a nucleophile is involved, is involved in the reaction. Whereas the second is electrophilic substitution reaction, electrophilic substitution reaction, where where an electrophile is involved in the reaction. Basically, if you want to learn the mechanism, so a general reaction we can discuss. In a general reaction, suppose we have a metal complex and its formula is Mx6. Mx6 and uh, and one, uh, it is reacting with one of the ligand uh, which is termed as Y and uh, when the substitution reaction occur, the possible product will be Mx5Y and the X will be replaced by y so this y can be a nucleophile as well as can be a electrophile depending on the nature of the metal complexes as well as the ligand which is coming to react with the metal complexes so from here we will divide our topic into different uh, categories one uh, will be one will be the unimolecular unimolecular nucleophilic nucleophilic substitution reaction or SN1 reaction or we can say that or we can say that this dissociative 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 SN1 mechanism SN1 mechanism in most of the examination this reaction uh, SN1 reaction can be termed as a unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction or a dissociative SN1 reaction. The, in this reaction basically what will happen suppose I will discuss it with a general example suppose we have uh, one metal complex which is for, which formula is MX6 and uh, first uh, when it will go for the, the reaction with any of the coming ligand first uh, it will proceed in two different steps and in the first step which will be a slow step will give an uh, intermediate which will be termed as mx5 and plus x and this mx5 will be intermediate 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 and it will be a it will be five five coordinated five coordinated intermediate and the second step this mx5 will react with the upcoming ligand y and it will give mx5y which will be our final product or octahedral hedral product. You can see here that uh, in a unimolecular substitution reaction which is also known as SN1 reaction or dissociative SN1, uh, SN1 mechanism in this reaction uh, a metal complex which has a octahedral geometry and the general uh, um, formula of this uh, molecule is MX6 which proceed with a slow step mechanism and it will it will it will give an intermediate or uh, five uh, five coordinated intermediate uh, which uh, and the general formula of this intermediate will be mx5 which will be a very less stable intermediate and uh, the x uh, ligand will dissociate from this mx6 molecule this mx5 uh, intermediate will again react with the upcoming ligand y uh, upcoming ligand y and this ligand can be can have a nature of uh, nucleophile and this uh, nucleophile then uh, 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 then uh, then attack on mx5 and uh, 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 a six membered coordinated coordinated metal complex will form so what we have from this reaction if you see this reaction then what we will get we will get that this uh, sn1 reaction this sn1 reaction uh, proceeds 
uh, in uh, two steps two steps and uh, second point will be first uh, dissociation will occur first dissociation of octahedral metal complex octahedral metal complex second the addition of addition of upcoming ligand now uh, what will happen we will discuss uh, the, the rate of uh, this reaction if you look uh, the rate of this reaction the kinetic or the kinetics of this reaction so we can write that a rate of this reaction will be um, k multiplied by mx 6 so it can be easily understood that if a molecule which has a octahedral geometry proceed for the substitution reaction the rate uh, is completely depend on the concentration of the concentration of the rate is depend on the rate of octahedral complex reaction or substitution reaction will depend on the concentration of reacting molecule only so here we can say that the rate of reaction is depend only on the concentration of the reactant and that's why this octahedral molecular reaction is termed as the uh, unimolecular uh, nucleophilic substitution reaction now we will discuss the another reaction which is a bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction nucleophilic substitution reaction or we can say as uh, as n2 reaction SN2 reaction, SN2 associative reaction. So now we will take uh, uh, another example and uh, we will study the uh, bimolecular uh, substitution reaction. So in this reaction, we will uh, we will take the another example for this type of uh, uh, reaction uh, to understand that this type of reaction. Suppose we have a metal complex which is which is general formula is MX6 and the reacting uh, ligand which is coming to uh, coming to react uh, with this metal complexes and in the first step intermediate will form which will uh, which will be termed as mx6 mx6y it will be a seven membered seven membered intermediate what we can say we can say that in the sn2 reaction or in the associative reaction the intermediate formed in this type of reaction will be seven membered uh, intermediate and in the next step what will happen this uh, mx6 mx6y uh, intermediate will again dissociate and what will form it will uh, give the uh, product which is formula is mx5y and the uh, leaving group will be uh, removed from this molecule in the first step the rate of reaction will be slow and in the second step the rate of reaction will be 5 so we can say that for the formation of a 7 membered intermediate the rate of reaction is very slow and when uh, this molecule going to be stabilized to give the final product the rate of reaction will be very fast now uh, we will discuss the rate of this reaction so if we talk about the rate of this reaction so we can say that the rate of this reaction rate of this reaction will be k and uh, it will depend on the concentration of both uh, metal complex as well as the uh, coming uh, ligand which is going to react with the metal complexes so the rate will be mx6 and the concentration of y so the rate of this reaction will depend on the both mx6 and y and the intermediate will be a seven numbered intermediate why this reaction is termed as the associative reaction it can be easily understand uh, by this reaction here if you see that in mx6 in an octahedral metal complex which is mx6 a ligand which is coming termed as y is immediate bind with the mx6 and form a seven membered ring as an intermediate and this seven membered ring intermediate will again dissociate and give the an octahedral metal complexes leaving their previous ligand which is x and the rate of this reaction will depend on the mx6 and concentration of y so both uh, both reactant will be responsible for the uh, rate of this reaction now the important thing uh, for this type of reaction is the nature of intermediate which is formed in the sn1 as well as sn2 reaction so now we will discuss the type of intermediate formed in sn1 and sn2 reaction so now suppose we have a, a formula which is uh, which can be represented in the uh, structural uh, form like this suppose we have this a a a a a a this is our octahedral metal complex which is going to react with the in slow step first it will dissociate its ligand which is termed at a so the possible uh, geometry of this type of reaction will be a a a a a and this uh, type of intermediate can uh, can be termed as a square pyramidal, pyramidal, a square pyramidal, or 
we can name is sp intermediate now this inter uh, intermediate is very less stable so it will react with the upcoming ligand y and it will form a uh, pure octahedral metal complex and the uh, molecular formula of this uh, molecule will be like this a y a a a a so this will be our final product so here you can see that uh, in, uh, in in sn1 reaction in sn1 type of reaction the metal complexes which is ma6 first it will react with, with slow rate and it will give a square preliminary intermediate which can be also uh, written as sp intermediate and it, this intermediate is very less stable and again it will react with the uh, upcoming ligand y and it will form a octahedral stable metal complex there is another possibility for the formation of uh, five membered intermediate and that uh, that can also be uh, written as this equation suppose we have another metal complex and uh, it is its formula again is ma6 that can be represented as this now uh, it will dissociate its ligand that will be minus a so what will happen the again intermediate will form and this intermediate can also be written as like this a a a a a so this intermediate can also be uh, named as uh, uh, trigonal by pyramidal it can also be written as tbp trigonal by pyramidal and now uh, this reaction uh, the rate of re uh, this reaction will be slow and again uh, the, it will react with the ligand which is coming to react with this reaction that is, that is y that is plus y and uh, this uh, this reaction will be fast and a final product will be formed as octahedral metal complexes and the molecular representation is like this m a a a a and y this will be the final intermediate if you see that there is two type of intermediate uh, can be formed in uh, in sn1 type of reaction or the dissociative type of reaction cause the sn1 reaction can be also be termed as the dissociative uh, dissociative type of uh, dissociative sn1 reaction these uh, two intermediate can be formed uh, in uh, in sn1 type of reaction and the stability of uh, the, uh, these intermediate depend on the nature of the uh, uh, starting molecule that is the metal complex now we will discuss the type of uh, uh, intermediate which is formed in sn2 type of reaction so uh, if you uh, see uh, the sn2 type of reaction intermediate form in sn2 type of reaction so suppose uh, again i will take the example for this type of reaction suppose we have a molecular uh, representation or molecular structure uh, for this type of reaction is like this again we have a a a a a a this is our first uh, metal complexes and general formula is, its nature is octahedral now what will happen it will first uh, go for the uh, associative mechanism and the upcoming ligand uh, that is termed as y which will come uh, in this molecule and all are the symmetrical molecules so it can replace any uh, it, it can attach uh, with any of the position available in this molecule now uh, this will be a slow process and the intermediate which is formed in this reaction will be like this molecules suppose this coming ligand is coming here y a a a a this will be a five membered ring and two ligands will be attached at the axial position of this metal complex so the nature of this uh, intermediate will be like this Pen uh, the name of this uh, intermediate will be pentagonal by pyramidal or we can name, name as p b p intermediate this intermediate uh, again uh, the seven membered ring will, will not will not be a stable molecule it will not give a stable uh, metal complex so again the reaction will proceed and this time the rate of reaction will be fast will be fast and uh, now uh, one of the uh, ligand will remove from this system and uh, the molecule will achieve its uh, its actual uh, actual and stable image which is metal the representation of this molecule will be like y a a a a this type of octahedral metal complex will 
form these two things are uh, very required for the understanding of octahedral substitution reaction uh, or substitution reaction in octahedral metal complexes we have discussed uh, these reaction mechanism in a general uh, formula and uh, the, the the rate of reaction and the nature of uh, ligands uh, which is uh, which formed in this type of reaction are also discussed the rate of re this type of reaction in the substitution reaction uh, multi uh, different type of uh, intermediate will form uh, and uh, and uh, all intermediates are uh, uh, not much stable in their uh, in their uh, different uh, um, uh, five member or seven membered uh, ring stage so it will uh, uh, either dissociate or associate to form their original uh, octahedral metal complexes and the rate of uh, these reaction will be different in sn1 and as well as in sn2 type of reaction